ready to take flight. And things get a little topsy turvy on one of Saturn's moons. Corny here with your two minutes of mayhem. That's for you. Science! Science! All right, so we start off with the James Webb Infrared Space Telescope, a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. It's getting ready for a 100 day freeze. The mega telescope will undergo a deep freeze or a cryogenic test to make sure that it can function in the cold of deep space. Mm. NASA's uh, Johnson Space Center in Houston is preparing for the telescope for launch to be set for 2018. The Webb is a large infrared telescope with a 21 foot mirror. NASA says thousands of astronomers worldwide will be able to use the telescope's capabilities to study deep space, the formation of solar systems with planets akin to Earth, and the evolution of our own solar system. Ooh. Deep space. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, NASA researchers have discovered an ocean bearing moon near Saturn that may have actually tipped over in the past. Huh. This is crazy. The unmanned Cassini spacecraft uh, captured image data of the possible shift in the spin axis of moon Enceladus by about 55 degrees. It nearly rolled over onto its side. Researchers say that a collision with an asteroid was probably behind the uh, reorientation. Cassini has uh, been exploring Saturn and its rings since 1997. Its mission will end this September. Cassini retires. Well, the world's largest airplane debuted on Wednesday. The Strato launch was pulled out of its Mojave wow. Air and Space Port hangar in California to begin tests, the first of many ground tests. The thing is huge. The twin fuselage aircraft has a 385 foot wingspan, stands 50 feet tall, and has 28 wheels and features six engines used by the Boeing 747. Now, it's designed to release rockets that will carry satellites into space. Strata Launch's uh, Strata CEO says that the goal is to have a launch demonstrated by 2019. You see how big that thing is when you see yeah. the guys underneath it? They are yeah, dwarfed yeah. by that thing. Yeah. It's you know who that CEO is? is Paul Allen, who co founded Microsoft. Oh! Yeah. Mr. Allen. We figured. Mr. Allen. <laughs> cool. All right. That's going to do it for your two minutes of fame. Things down in uh, Mojave. Mojave Desert. Mojave Desert. Mojave. Thanks, Courts. All right. Let's get a check.